we take a look at the starting lineups tonight from the opening tip and the Wizards win the first possession. You see Bradley Beal back into the game after missing the last couple dealing with that foot injury. Haywood's pull up is off the mark. Rebound Denny Avdia. The Charlotte Hornets team 15 and 40. They're 14th in the East. Denny getting the first layup to go down for Washington. I love when Denny Avdia gets downhill like that, especially in transition. It's clear sailing to him at the rim. First chance the Wizards are seeing LaMelo. Side pick and roll to Plumlee. Out the ball. Balls three-pointers up and good. LaMelo ball. Fourth rebound already in the early part of this game. Bradley Beal triggers a three. Mason Plumlee to Gordon Hayward who goes to the basket called for the foul. He'll go to the line for the no balls trying to get in there for that rebound. Anthony Gill comes up with it. The Charlotte, North Carolina native. That's right. I love how Anthony Gill finished up down there on the glass. Gill is a sturdy force in there in terms of his physical play at the rim. Brad's got to be physical here with Plumley. That looks like that should have been a charge. No foul called as Plumley dunks over Beal. Leading the team in assist numbers and tops in the league in assist turnover ratio as well. Here's Beal probing inside. Out to Kisper who triggers a three and hits it. Corey Kisper. And they look for him. I like that action that they just had. Good hands there by Corey Kisper, which leads to Gill. Gill getting to the cup. Count that basket. Strong attack by Anthony Gill. None in his dribble bag right now. Good deflection there by Dennis Smith. We told you they're third best in the league in terms of deflections. Jalen McDaniels, no. P.J. Washington, yes. Because Daniel Gaffer was up high with his man and his match. Time expires. And Kendrick Nunn gets two points to close out the first quarter. Good to see Will Barton get those minutes Monday in that loss to Cleveland. He did well. He had 15 points in that contest. Stayed aggressive with his offensive selection. All right. <laughs> Here's a look inside. Good hands by Jordan Goodwin. This is what Avia likes to do behind the back. Great feed to Kendrick Nunn. Kick out the Will Barton for three, and he hits. We hope to get an update on him momentarily. Hate to see that. Smith Jr. to the cup. Lays it in with the right hand, and Wilson and Sill Jr. wants to talk about it. Wizards now with three turnovers. Jordan Goodwin with offensive rebound. Kick out the Barton all alone. Hits that three. Will Barton got one on the right side now on the left. But it was the fight on the glass by Jordan Goodwin. Lob upstairs for Washington to Smith Jr. In and out dribble for Barton with the left hand. Tosh gives him there to clean up the mess. And he was fouled on the play. Was were able to get that ball off just before a shot clock expires. They missed McDaniels. Feed to Gordon Hayward. He hits another shot. Porzingis baseline attack. Count the bucket foul on Gordon Hayward. Taj 10 years ago would have caught I that. Say it. <laughs> I was like, wait for you to say it. <laughs> you gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Here's Avdia with that strong attack. Another and one for Washington. I love that for him. I like the, just the awareness of yeah. him knowing that, you know. I, I get it. That it, it's my time now. Absolutely. Bradley Beal's three touches nothing but court. He puts three fingers up to let the fans know. And the game the Wizards a lead. They're still tied at 52. But you like the choice of that possession. PJ Washington comes right back down and knocks down that. To funnel and get to the basket. Under a minute to go here in the second quarter. Rogier with the Euro step. Goes high off the glass and scores. 11 for Gordon Hayward, 13 for LaMelo Ball. Another three, top of the key for Porzingis. He gets that one to go down. To space the floor properly to give Kristaps Porzingis that clean look. Inside look to Mark Williams off the feed from Ball. Spiel, Porzingis kick it out to Avdia. Great ball movement there by Washington. It's about their defense on this side. Terry Rozier picking the pocket of Avdia. He's all alone for the lay-in. KP over P.J. Washington. And finished in there. Good hands there by Bradley Beal coming up with the swipe. Some four on four action here. Porzingis 
Trying to get the foul. Follows his own shot. As he almost tried to tattoo the Hornets with that jumper. I was about to say, formerly known as <laughs> on that one. My goodness. There's P.J. Washington coming to the other end, but there's Mark Williams to clean up. <laughs> Here's P.J. Washington spinning, getting it over Gafford's outstretched. Mason Plumley, the lone starter, not in double figures, left this ball game with an injury. Porzingis for three, needed that one. There's some particulars you might be familiar with. Talk to us. I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Bradley Beal with a pull-up jumper. Injuries, but good to see him with his bounce tonight. Speaking of bounce, Bradley Beal put two hands on the rim. DeLon right in the starting lineup for Monte Morris tonight. Double teamed in the corner. Beal, no look out to Abdia. Squares up and hits the three. Everybody, some fans are out here doing that when he knocked that one in. P.J. Washington with a tough bucket over Porzingis. Bump those cutters, don't let them beat down the lane that easily. Beal out to Porzingis. It hits another three. Bradley Beal's seventh assist. But the beginning of the possession, as Chrissy knows as a coach, is just as important. We have to clean it up in the pick and roll. There's none. Nice screen set there by Kispert. Porzingis again for three, counting. Plumley back in the game for the Hornets. Porzingis shoots over him and hits again. Last 11 points belong to Porzingis. Good job by Anthony Gill. Dennis Smith went right into the body of both Kispert and Porzingis. Two minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Washington is able to extend their lead. Back to 12. He can flip that switch with no questions asked. It's just who he is, as he has told us many times. Great and just to, yeah. to also note, Chris and Christie, it's not typical that you see the threshold hit this close. The very next night in Charlotte against the Hornets. So Jordan Goodwin has done everything that has been asked of him so far. As Daniel Gafford misses that shot and gets his own offensive rebound. Doing a really good job from the free throw line. Daniel Gafford, five of six tonight. It's an area that he has been trying to improve upon throughout this season. Washington rattles in that three for the Wizards and they haven't really had to deal with him on the floor now he's off the floor with these five fouls floater is good by Jordan Goodman Beal has logged 24 minutes in his first game back after missing the last two kick out the Gill who thought about it Gets it to go down. Christie dropped that early in the game, and I needed to ask if that was a word. And indeed, all my Wizards fans on Twitter was like, yes, Chris, it is a word. For more than six minutes remaining in this game. Beal hands it off to Porzingis, who continues to be hotter than fish grease here at Capital One Arena. We should see how they close this game out. There's a turnover here by Washington. Rozier gets the layup to go in and the foul on Avdia. And the numbers that he has put up have been astounding as you see a block here by Gafford. But the 38,390 points, Porzingis comes in and cleans that up. James also has 7,631 points in the playoffs. So technically this man has 46,000 points in the NBA. Also hit 14 threes, and they're 15 of 17 from the charity stripe. And there you see what Porzingis has done tonight, a season-high seven three-pointers made. Ball inside the Plumlee. And one as that foul is going to be called on Bradley Beal. That'll be his second. Milan right going one-on-one -on -one with Hayward. Milan kick out the Gill. Porzingis. Let's go home. Snapping their three-game losing streak and improving to 25 and 29 on the season. 13 and 12 here at Capital One Arena and taking three of four from the Charlotte Hornets as the dub flag comes.